Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and Attention Coach Jeff Copper, and I'm here today to talk about coaching and ADHD coaching. The term coaching is very, uh, it's very fashionable these days. It's very much in vogue. And I think there's a lot of confusion out there with regard to it because I think it's used interchangeably. And I'd like to make a distinction uh, to help uh, clarify things so if you are looking for some help, particularly with ADHD, you might kind of understand uh, what you're looking at when you kind of bump into it. To me, there's two kinds of coaching. One is uh, behavioral coaching, and it's really pretty simple to see. It's when somebody else has a solution and they're going to coach your behavior to it. Uh, for time management, it might look like um, a Franklin planner and a bunch of colored pencils. Now understand that in behavioral coaching, the typical solutions that they have are what I call normative solutions. And if you know anything about a bell curve, basically these are solutions that work for the people that are kind of in the middle. Uh, they don't necessarily work for the outliers, and often, as I suggest, if the obvious solution isn't working, uh, pay, you're paying attention to the wrong thing. And so when you have an issue, I encourage you, you know, take a look at the obvious solutions or the uh, self-help section of the bookstore, but all too often, they don't work. Um, when that happens, you can certainly go to a behavioral coach, and you can sit down and, and try to form the habit in order to do it their way. Two things um, to comment on. One is if you have ADHD, it requires more executive functioning to override the automatic behaviors that you have. And in talking to the experts, I found that most agree that it's more difficult for those with ADHD to form uh, habits and or new habits. The second thing is, is if, if, if the solution doesn't really fit your brain wiring, you're going to have difficulty. It's kind of like... Uh, learning, to, uh, forcing yourself to write with your less dominant hand, you might be able to do it, but it's going to take a lot of effort and a lot of energy. The other kind of coaching is a little bit different. It's really more a kind of what I do um, and subscribes to the International Coach Federation definition, which the client is created naturally resourceful and whole. And my job is to help them discover what's always worked for them. So let's see what that looks like. I was coaching an individual one time on time management, and I said, what does time look like? And as they described it, they said it really kind of flows like a river. I said, hmm. And as we had a conversation about it, we came to the conclusion that this person should try using a timeline. Well, timeline worked very well for them. But I'll mind you, if you go to the self-help section of the bookstore and you, and you look up, you know, you're looking for you know, time tools, you're going to find a lot of calendars, and I've yet to find a book that's just got timelines. And by the way, for this particular individual, they ended up having to draw the thing out and photocopy it. This example of a solution that's not on the top 10 list that fits that particular brain wiring uh, is easy and natural. It doesn't really require a lot of effort. Um, time had always flowed like a river. It just so happens a timeline kind of matches her brain wiring. The thing about this, this kind of coaching is if you stumble into the right um, habit or solution or uh, uh, strategy, typically it's something you've been doing your entire life. You just weren't aware of it. So activating and moving into that sometimes is very, very natural as opposed to the other one. Now, there are some pros and cons to both sides. Um, I suggest always, you know, try the, the normative solution at first, but often if it's not working, um, particularly if you find yourself just uh, trying harder or thinking that you should do it, which leads to shooting all over yourself, it's often good to go to the other side of it, maybe to uh, the type of coaching that I describe, which is very, very much about a creative, open, uh, discovery type thing to try to discover what really makes some sense and what works. And I find that uh, to be very, very powerful and very helpful. You can certainly watch other videos, and I'm assuming other uh, interviews that I've had or videos that I've shot on Attention Talk video and find examples of obvious solutions that were not so obvious when they started. So anyway, I hope this gives you a little bit of a context to understand kind of what's out there and what you're looking for. Again, there are two different styles. They're really kind of opposite. One is more normative solution, a one size fits all and the other one is more a customized solution. Um, again, uh, the normative solutions certainly work for some people, but when that's not working, you might consider the other types of coaching. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our channel, Attention Talk Video, and watch other videos related to attention, ADHD, and coaching. Take care.